Hi everyone, this is a small follow-up to my latest video. After returning the two micro goblets in uh, my last video, I went back to my shop uh, for another try. Now I was going for a much smaller goblet this time and uh, I had to prepare a specialty tool for it uh, since I was uh, going to turn on a really small scale. You can see here the tool that I've made. The handle was made from oak and the tool itself was made from a sewing needle. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes to prepare and as you can see I even burned a couple of lines in the handle to make it a little bit more presentable. Here you can see the hollowing process, uh, the head of the goblet. Even more difficult than hollowing this goblet was uh, taking the video. It was uh, really difficult to make the camera focus on something this small. Although the width of the goblet at this point is about 2 mm, I still thought that it was uh, a little bit too wide for my purposes. So I went on uh, to thin a little bit the walls of the goblet. And a few passes of a scraping cut will thin this goblet all the way to the end. At this point you can see that I'm actually trying to use different uh, cutting techniques in order to shape the head of the goblet. And uh, I've tried a little bit of scraping, a little bit of cutting, uh, just to see which a type of cut will produce the best results. After finishing the goblet, I'm parting it off. No sanding on this goblet. And there it goes. It's uh, a little bit hard to see the goblet between the shavings. Uh, I'm trying to separate the goblet from the shavings using my uh, makeshift skew and it almost flies off. Even taking a simple picture of the goblet proved a little bit problematic for my camera. Here you can see the little goblet on top of the bottom of my medium goblet. And of course, all three goblets that I've turned on the tip of my finger. I want to thank you for joining me in this little update and I hope to see you back in my shop really soon.